Hey guys, as always, it's the Digital Pumpkin Cat, and so, so excited to get into this, because Spirit Halloween just dropped their second 2024 teaser of the year. We have now ha got a lot of information. I don't know if this is the type of teaser like they did with the Tombstones last year. This might substitute for that, or this could just be a sneak peek to that teaser. Um, I have no clue, but I'll, I I kind of like the other layout last year better because this year they could have done like banners or posters or something like that. But I mean, if this is it, I guess that's fine because we did get everything we did just like last year we got from the tombstones. We have the names. We don't have prices, though. And yeah, let's just get right into it. We have a ton to look at. So here is Spirit Carney Evil. Uh, as you can see um, from this poster. And that's, of course, the ISE, ISE. Now, we all know everybody is demanding a carnival theme. We know we got a carnival theme just a few months back, and now it's confirmed the name of the carnival, which is Carnival, Spirit Carnival. And I think that is a generic, but definitely classic name. And I do like Spirit Carnival, like the nice ring to it. And yeah, that's the name right there. And we've got our props starting out with the main attractions, as you can see. So I guess just, I guess what they're, you know, trying to say, the highlights of the year. Um, we've got the Ringmaster. Um, of course, we did have a Ringmaster coming to Party City, and I do love Ringmaster props. The only other Ringmaster prop we've got is Ringmaster, Rotten Ringmaster. Speaking of Rotten Ringmaster, we have Nibbles the Clown. Um, a lot of people are getting on this thing, and I don't know. It might be, might be the, of course, Nibbles the Clown is along with a lot of props like KG the Clown, um, Re Rotten Ringmaster. I know a Canadian exclusive clan held KG. Not KG, held Nibbles. But there was a Nibbles the Clown that was just a prop alone. And that was the walk around Nibbles that he's in the cage, and of course. And you just have him alone and walk him around. So that could be the Nibbles we're seeing right here. Or it could be another Nibbles. I guess just like a Cannibal Clown maybe. I don't know. That would be pretty cool. I don't know, um, I'm thinking again, this one's probably gonna be pretty cool. A Cannibal Clown would be great to see. And, yeah, not much going on here. But the Bobby Strings, really, really love that name because it could be a lot of things. This could be, but my guess is one, one out of two of these things are probably going to be this prop. And that is, it could be a puppeteer, just like we saw... I forgot his name, but the puppeteer from 2020, which is still on the website for 150. And yeah, it could be him, but it could not him. It could be the same concept as him, or it could be that Bobby Strings right here is the puppet. And say like, I don't know, he's on strings, maybe you hang him. Or it could be a vice versa thing, just like the Virtuilicus du dummy thing, that um, the Puppet Master is the puppet, and the puppet is the Puppet Master. And Bobby is, of course, in this case, the Puppet Master, which is being held by Strings. I really love that name, and I think there is a lot of potential for Bobby Strings. Cotton Candy Dan. Um... This could be another Cotton Cadence thing. Maybe even a reskin, possibly. Um, but I don't know. I wasn't a fan of that whole thing. This could be just a clown carrying cotton candy, which we definitely seen before. Um, so, I don't know. This could be something great. But if it's one of those two things, I'm not crazy for this guy at all. But Barnaby the Bear? Now, this could be like... I'm thinking a mutant bear. Just... I'm thinking... A full life-size six seven eight foot bear maybe and you know just looks like a normal huggable bear and the whole top just pops open to have all these bloody teeth and stuff 
and, you know, demonic voice after that. I would think that would be great, and I hope we get something inevitably close to that, but I really do have potential for Barnaby the Bear, and since it's coming to Spirit Halloween, we know it's going to be some sort of a scary bear, and again, I have a lot and a lot of concepts for this guy, and I think just a creepy, creepy bear prop is definitely something we don't see every day. We see it in tabletops a lot, and those always work out really well, so I can't wait for a life-size. We've seen it in the professional industry a lot, with that one bear from Poison Props that's on the thumbnail right now. We've seen it with the Distortions bear. We've seen it with a lot of professional props, and again, the only retail ones we've got a demonic scary bear is our tabletop, so it's great to see a full life-size of one, and a giant bear couldn't be more scary. Now we have the world famous entertainers, aka the license props. Now, really excited to get into this. So, we have another Art the Clown. Yes, another Art the Clown. We had the Art the Clown and the little pale girl from Party City. And honestly, I don't think any variation of the character can beat that. I. I said it in my video, that Art the Clown from Party City is really, really close to being perfect. And I do not think Spirit in any way can beat that. But I definitely am up for seeing another Art the Clown coming to Spirit Halloween. Definitely excited to see him. I'm thinking maybe he's on a tricycle, like that one scene, instead of just being a standing prop. Maybe he has a garbage bag and a knife instead of a saw and the horn. Maybe he has the flamethrower. That would be cool. Maybe he has the glasses just like the other one we've gotten. And I just have a lot of potential for another Art the Clown. Because there's definitely a bunch of places in the movie where he can be cut out from. And I really, really, really love that we're getting another Art the Clown. And... We're getting another ghost face. Now, finally, we've been wanting a ghost face for so freaking long. And we did get one in 2010. But that was all the way back in 2010. We've been demanding a ghost face since 2010. Spirit Halloween did deliver, actually, with our 2021 popping out ghost face. That was, of course, a Hauntress reskin. But that one was just terrible. It was bad. It was... It was mediocre. I hated that one. But, I mean hated is kind of a strong word. I didn't, I did not like that one and I was very disappointed. So, you can tell that I have high hopes for this ghost face. And that I hope they have learned from their mistake. And they are not going to screw up on this guy. Because why would they make another one? if they knew they screw up on the last one. So I definitely have high hopes for him. Now, we're getting another Michael Myers animatronic. I don't know. We get a lot of Michael Myers animatronics every year. Almost every year. Maybe a one, two year time gap until we get another one. The thing is, nothing. no Michael Myers animatronic has been perfect. Or close. Or accurate. There's always something, you know? I'd say the most accurate is the Jemmy 2000, I believe, 10 model, but uh, it still has its flaws, you know, and I really hope they can get it right with this Michael Myers, and if it's just another stabbing motor, mediocre uh, Michael Myers that we see every day, I'm not gonna like it. Emily and Victor, this is really, really new. We've got the Nightmare Before Christmas Sally and Jack. And those were great props. Love them. Love the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. Had to get 13 foot jack, of course. Can't pass any of the Nightmare Before Christmas merch off. And I really love Corpse Bride. One of my favorite films to date. Very underrated in terms of overall and the Halloween industry. And yet here we are getting two life sizes from the movie. Emily and Victor are very iconic characters. Not as much as Sally and Jack, but Sally and Jack are really close to um, Victor and Emily. 
and I guess they're like a modernized Sally and Jack, so it's really, really great to have these as life sizes, and I can tell these are going to be best sellers of the year, but the question I do have is, like, are these two going to be sold as a pair, or are they going to be separate, just like the Sally and Jack? Now, Sally and Jack was, of course, separate. So for these guys to be sold as a pair would be kind of weird because I know the price would be increased and I know that's not what they did with the Sally and Jack. So I'm hoping they can be sold separately. I might pick up one or the other, but I really do like the concept of these guys and can't wait to have one. And next, we've got the blasts from the past poster, which in other words, the returning props. And... I cannot be more disappointed. Now, i crossing my fingers that they're going to do some type of thing at the end of the Halloween season. Maybe, like, at the end of Spirit Halloween season, of course, next to when Flagship opens. Maybe something to just knock off the whole year and just end it off with a big bang. Just end strongly and maybe leak the um, props I want to see return. You know what they are. And maybe they save those again for last and make us all happy. Because I know that's what happened with a lot of the props. They saved for um, the end, like the Martian Warrior Pro license and unlicensed. So I hope um, the returning props I want to see that aren't on this list are one of those props. But the returning props we are getting, I gotta say, they're o in a nutshell, they're okay returners. But if this is it, I'm really, really disappointed when it comes to returners. I mean, really disappointed. And, okay, so let's just start with Cerberus. Cerberus is fine, in my opinion. Cerberus, you know, when I think of Cerberus, I think of a huge three-headed dog, not a two-foot three-headed dog. So, I mean, there's where the next 12-footer could come out of, but... I thought it was an okay prop. I'm three-headed dog, not too much to say. But yeah, I've never been a too big of a fan of Cerberus, but he's cool. I do like Cerberus. And Twitching Banshee. Um, definitely a pretty demanded prop, and including me. This is probably the returner I'm most excited for. I love me a good Twitching Banshee. Don't have my hands on her, so this... Year is definitely the year I plan to buy her. Such a creepy-ass prop, and I can't wait to see it in stores. It better be in stores, because Twitching Banshee, one of the best and scariest, per se, prop Spirit Halloween has ever put out. And yeah, excited for her return. Definitely wouldn't prefer her over the ones I will mention, but she's cool. She's really, really creepy. Creepy Tower and Clown, here we go. Of course, we're doing carnival to theme, so there could be a lot of great clowns to come back. And even though Creepy Tower and Clown is more than just crazy hyped, I don't like him. I do not think this was a good return, and I would I cannot care less. Um, just Creepy Tower and Clown. I will give him some leeway for being the first, one of the first. And first towering clown props. But I don't know. He's at the end of the day, he's another clown. He's another tall prop. And again, other than being the first tall clown slash tall prop, that's basically it. He's a red clown and he's tall. I don't get the hype. I don't get it at all. And I really don't like creepy towering clown. Definitely don't think he should return, even though it's a carnival theme. I mean, sure, bring him back. When we have our hands on Barnyard Butcher, Pumpkin Nester, Silent and Deadly, just bring all those, and then maybe, maybe I'll consider a creepy Towering Clown, but don't you dare put Towering Clown over all of those props I just mentioned. That's, that's crazy that they did that, in my opinion. And I really, really hope we get all the guys I mentioned and more back for 2024 because this is definitely disappointing. Next, we have our last page, Oddities and Curiosities. 
Um, we do have one last page showing off a part of an ISC, and we will take a look at that. But here, where here's where all the new props come. And now we have eight, so let's get started. Night Terror. I don't know. Doesn't sound like much to me. But again, you can't judge a book by its cover, or in this case, a prop by its name. And we all we have is names right here, so I'm really hyped to see all of these, no matter the name, no matter what I say right now. Basing off names, Night Terror just kind of sounds like a Reaper to me, or just some spiritual creeper. I, I cre some spiritual creature, and I don't know, it might be really good, like Deathstalker-ish type thing, like a boogeyman, but I mean... Night Terror doesn't seem much to me, and I don't know what to think of it. Um, the Cremator. I really, really love this. Cremator, of course, we've seen... I... We've seen a lot of Cremators in the, um, pro industry. I think this is the first time we have it in the retail industry. I think it's going to be something like, um, I forgot what it's called, but like that one burner thing or the oven thing... I forgot the name, of course, in the cryo chamber. Something like that where a prop, where, you know, a little head or prop just pops out of the cremator. That would be great too, but I'm really hoping for it to be more creative and maybe like, I don't know, a pair of legs or a whole body um, coming out, not from the top, but from the side. And you can see like the speedometer is going and it's fogging. I have m a lot of poten potential for this prop, and I'm really excited to see it. Gravestone Ghoul. I have... I couldn't care less. I It's Gravestone Ghoul. Basically, I don't know. It's going to be a Tombstone Terror thing, in my opinion, but I don't know. Um, It, it sounds like a ghoul behind a gravestone. That usually means it's going to pop up from the gravestone. And that usually means it's going to be crappy, lazy, and unneeded, just like Tombstone Terror. And I don't know what to think of this. Really hope it's not what everybody's thinking it is, which is a crappy, lazy Tombstone Terror prop. I really hope Spirit Halloween learned their lesson on those guys. And I don't know what else they could do with the Tombstone at this point. It's obviously including a Tombstone in some kind of ghoul. And I don't know what they could do with that. Not many ideas I have that are actually good, but I don't know. I think this prop's going to be a lost cause. Max Draw might be in, might tie with Jack's Draw. There might be some Spirit Halloween lore going on there. Speaking of which, the, na the names might occur with the animation and looks. This might be just a Jack's Draw, Straw and Demonic Dahlia reskin just with a different looking scarecrow or what i'm thinking is a human stuffed with straw and carved and stuff that would be really cool to see because that's what that's kind of what it's speaking to me but it could have nothing to do with the mech i'm just saying i really hope it's something around those boundaries wanda webworth um that definitely sounds like it's a spider i'm thinking maybe Something like the Coraline Spider, which I'm surprised we haven't seen any licensed Coraline props this year. Something like that, you know, with like, I guess a female body on top of huge spider legs. That would be really awesome. Or it could be like, I guess a corpse with spiders crawling all around her. That could even be better. But I don't know. This could be a lot of things. That's the two things I have off the top of my head. It could be great, and I don't really get how a name like Wanda Webworth would be bad, unless it's a spider with hair. I, I don't know. It sounds really cool, really hyped for this particular prop. Giant Death Ray sounds like something in the pro industry. I know I keep saying that, but Spirit is going all out this year. Giant Death Ray. This isn't like a, even a character. It's like a freaking Death Ray. Like, just um, something you'd see in Mars Attacks. Which, speaking of which, I hope the Martian Warrior returns. Um, to go with this prop, of course. Giant Death Ray sounds very sci-fi. Great that I'm doing an alien theme, because I'm really going to want this. Speaking of which, it's going to be like $800. I don't know. We have to see it first. 
Dark Princess? Um, th- uh, my head went to the... I don't... Oh, Queen of the Underworld, I think her name is. Queen of Souls, something like that, from Home Depot 2021. Th- if they're gonna have something like that, it would be kind of weird to have her in a carnival. Maybe it's an online only, I don't know, but... It's kind of weird to not have, like, a king, queen, or whatever with her. Or, again, it's weird to have her in a carnival. I don't know why we're getting princesses in a carnival theme. But still, she's really, really cool. Sounds great. Has potential. And it's I find it funny that we're getting less clowns this year, even when it's a carnival. But we get props like princesses. Although, again, she does have potential. Demonic Gatekeeper. Uh, this could be just another generic Reaper skeleton ghoul prop, or this could be something like a demon, which would explain the name of Demonic. Emphasizing on Demonic, I really like how they added Demonic. That builds up more hype. Of course, they had the Gatekeeper, so making the Demonic Gatekeeper might be the same thing just as a demon or something, but I'm thinking like a dragon. I'm My mind is going to crazy thoughts. I don't know, some guy with a staff or spear, just, it could be a lot of things, and I really have potential for this particular demonic gatekeeper. Definitely one of the most hyped out of all of these. Now, this is obviously going to be in the themes. Welcome to the Karn Evil. Definitely going to be the sign, the arch over your heads when you first walk in. And it looks really cool, looks really classic. Wish it was a little more scary, I don't know, with a clown face, some blood maybe would do justice, but I really like it. And yeah, obviously going to be in the themes. And that was it. A lot and a lot of stuff going on now. We've got Home Depot leaks, we've got Lowe's coming out with their whole lineup. Everything's for sale now. We've got Spirit Halloween throwing all this stuff on us. Distortions release a new prop. It's just crazy. A lot of videos coming to the channel soon, so like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So hyped for this year. Everything sounds amazing, but again, can't judge a book by its cover. So excited for the demo videos. So excited for the teasers. Can't wait for Spirit Halloween.